Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. To answer this question, we need to determine how the addition of a catalyst will affect this reaction coordinate diagram. When a catalyst is added, it's going to cause this hump of the activation energy to decrease in size. This means it will take less energy to get the reaction started. Think about it this way. If you're trying to roll a ball up a hill, that's going to take some energy to get it to the top. But what if, once it's at the top, it'll just go all the way down the hill just as normal. And think about an enzyme as a shovel that you can use to make that hill shorter. And once that hill is shorter, you don't have to push the ball as high to get it rolling. Same way with a reaction. In order to get this reaction rolling, in order to get it going, you're going to need less initial energy for that to happen. Therefore, in summary, a catalyst or an enzyme is going to decrease the activation energy in the reaction coordinate diagram. One other thing to mention here is the difference between kinetics and thermodynamics. Kinetics is the rate of reaction. Thermodynamics refers to the energy levels of substrates and products. In this case, the enzyme is affecting the kinetics of the reaction. By decreasing the activation energy, the enzyme causes the reaction to occur more quickly. In contrast, the thermodynamics of this reaction are not being affected. The reactants and the products still have the very same energy levels that they had before the addition of the catalyst. Therefore, one, way, one other way to think about this is that an enzyme will influence the kinetics of a reaction without influencing the thermodynamics of a reaction. With that in mind, let's take a second look at the question stem. Which of the following is affected by a catalyst? We're going to go with answer choice A, activation energy. If you enjoyed this question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.